Hey guys, what's up? The iPod Kid here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do an untethered 5.0.1 jailbreak for all iPod, iPhone, and iPad devices. Step one for the untethered jailbreak is go to the first link down in the more info section below. Here you're going to be able to download the specific firmware for your specific device. Remember, this untethered jailbreak does not work on iPhone 4S or iPad 2, but it is friendly with all other devices, and you're going to be able to find your firmware for the iPods on the top, and then down in the bottom, if you have an iPhone, iPod Touch, iPad, you'll be able to also find your firmware. Uh, I have the new iPhone 4 for uh, Verizon, but not the 4S, which is the CDMA for Verizon and GSM for AT&T. Um, so download your firmware, and that's the first step. Alright guys, and the second step is to download Red Snow for Mac or for Windows, and that's going to be in the more info section below. I do have both those links, so just click whichever specific system you're using. Alright, so now that we're on to step three, you're going to have two files downloaded onto your computer. The Red Snow folder and the iPod, iPhone, or iPad firmware you previously downloaded in step one. Open up the Red Snow folder, run the Red Snow application, and once it starts running, you're going to have two options. It's going to say jailbreak and it's going to say extras. Click on extras and go to select IPSW. Now select the firmware that you previously downloaded in step one for your device. Now once you've done that, on the bottom of this you're going to select back and click on jailbreak. Now make sure your device is plugged in and turned off once you're doing this. So I'm just waiting for my device to turn off. On this next page, it's going to have these three options. Make sure only install Cydia is checked and then click on next. So now I'm on to the final jailbreak page and this is where we're going to do the actual jailbreaking process. Make sure your device is plugged in and powered off and click on next. Hold down the power button on the top for three seconds. Now while holding the power button, start to hold the home button until it goes on to the next um, step. Now while still holding the home button, release the power button. And...